Hi, I'm Carlo from Downtown Music. Here's another beautiful example of a custom Les Paul. This one has slightly different features from the standard custom Les Paul, where this one is a 1954 reissue, where you've got uh, a P90 pickup in the back and our Nico pickup in the front. Once again, you've got five-way binding around the side. You've got the top app knobs on the guitar, similar to the vintage 54. With the binding, you'll also notice that it's, uh, it's vintage and it's aged to make, give it the authentic look. This is a reissue made in the year 2000. Once again, this is a pretty cool 1950s reissue where you'll find that most of the guys that don't want to be playing with humbucking sounds on their guitars usually pick out a single coil, which is these two sounds. I'll run through the sounds of the pickups in a few minutes with you. Just running through a few features on this guitar. The front pickup being the Alnico staple type pickup, because it has like little staple, looks like little staples that have been put into it. This pickup is actually a little bit thinner than your normal humbucking pickup, so you can still get your warm tones. Switch to the treble pickup, which is your P90, which you've got. That sound there, without being too fat and distorting you, and distorting your amp like normal humbuckers, uh, humbucking pickups do, this P90 tends to still clean up and remain clean even in your rhythm modes. Once again, a very very desirable guitar, mahogany back and sides uh, with a maple cap top. If you turn it around, it's got the old Cluson type tuners, and one particular feature on this guitar, it has no volute. Most of the other guitars. 60, up to about 69, you'll find that Les Pauls had no volutes and after that they came in with a volute in the early 70s.